right so yeah we are going to be sharing what have we been doing yesterday and what are we doing today according to the schedule and with the applications the numbers of applications we had to do yesterday how many did we accomplish how many did we accomplish and also what are we planning to do today in regards to upskilling and also in regards to applying so yeah let's go around the table just because we are very few here so we will go in reverse um in reverse alphabetically that means rodolph you will go first and then meron and then melat and then Kerod. yeah and also you let us know is anything challenging you to understand is there any support you need like just uh let's have this conversation today rodolph you can go ahead I'm seeing that Rodolfo will be sharing in the chat box. So, Meron, you can go ahead. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Yesterday, I was watching data structure and algorithm video tutorial, and I was trying to solve some problems. Uh, Today, uh, I have a plan to continue to upgrade my skill. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have not prepared the weekly plan because of I don't understand how to do it. Where, uh, where we submit it. Uh, okay. okay, sorry to cut you short. Come again uh what are you talking about with the weekly plan what are you referring to uh i, I don't understand uh, about how to do and uh, where we submit it weekly plan you mean the tpf yes uh we will be submitting it on notion did you okay. attend the TPF, uh, the TPF session when we explained how we are going to be filling our notion pages in regards to TPF plan? Okay. Did you, were you present yes. or can I share with you the recording? Yeah. Okay, Pascal, yes. Okay, all right. Can. All right, I will share with you the recording. Then in regards to the application and also when you said uh, upskilling, what did you mean? Can you elaborate? Uh, I was trying to solve some problems about uh, data structure and algorithm tutorial from uh, the data given yesterday. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's in regards to the upskilling. And then when it regards to when it comes to applications, how did it go yesterday? I I, I didn't apply yesterday. I I will apply uh, tomorrow. I'll start <laughs> applying tomorrow. And how did last week go in, in regards to applications as well? Uh, I, I have applied around Tony. Around 20? Yes. And what's the status so far? I track. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, did you receive any communication from any of the applications you did? Either it's if it's a progress or if it's a rejection. Is there anything yet? Yes, uh, around three rejection I I received. Mm -hmm. 
what, what were the requirements with the ones that rejected you what were the requirements did you feel like you should have been a fit like a hundred percent or did you feel like there are some materials that were not ready and that probably disqualified you uh I guess uh, I, I I am not qualified uh, due due to the skills I think because uh, the the careers I I, I rejected are a AI. Oh. Okay. Um. Maybe the background and. Uh, and uh, the experience mm -hmm. okay so that means you were applying for the roles on which the required you didn't meet the required background and also the required skills or knowledge that's what you mean yes can you share one of the link uh, so that i can have a look yes i can i can share yeah like like right now on slack Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, we get back to you after you share the link, and after uh, we have also took like a look and give you some feedbacks on how you can progress moving forward in order to avoid um, those kind of rejections. You know. So yeah, share it, and then we get back to you like after the very last person here. Then um, Carol, you can proceed. Oh God, so I was, I was on mute this whole time, sorry. Not even sure where I stopped, but I was saying that Alexander, I was reading your text that you submitted, that you submitted your weekly plan, then you researched and then read practi and practice resources about data structure and the logarithm. It's really great. I believe, I'm not sure if the the reason why you didn't report or you didn't write about any applications you did it was because we didn't have any job application period on our schedule yesterday which really makes sense 
But to be honest, even if we do not have the job application uh, period, like the like the one scheduled on tomorrow, starting from 12 p.m. UTC, I think you can see it on your notion schedule. If we don't have something like this, even on other days, like today, it's better to be even you know, taking that one hour or 30 minutes and drop just a few applications. Just whenever you have time, let's not just use it to just upskill. Let's use it to drop the applications that we see that we can take a chance to. Let's not wait just for the job application period that is written on the schedule. You know, I, I, hope, I hope we remember that. Let's take a chance anytime we have time because I believe we have enough time right now yeah and uh then i was moving to the next person who is fenuel fenuel are you still here how has it been going for you with the applications i know you've been doing uh some assessments from different companies i guess like can you also update us how has it been going how is the experience like anything you would like to share with us uh, hi, Pascal. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay, so uh, I haven't officially started applying for jobs as everyone, so I might need help in that regard. I heard Kerod is the champion on that, so I'll be reaching out to him. But so far, like, uh, I've been given some challenge uh, uh, that the company gave me and I've been working on that, trying to work on that, but uh, I think that all people in Addis Ababa know the past week has been really challenging because there were consistent power cuts. So I did what I can, but uh, I haven't received any uh, response from them so far. And uh, for my plan this week, I'm planning on to finish the challenges for today and also you know, enter the job application workforce, I guess, yeah. Okay, great. If you can also share with us, what are the challenges about? Have you submitted and you're waiting to hear from them? Uh, how is the progress so far? Uh, so one of the challenges was, uh, it was DevOps for AI, MLOps. Uh, so they were, they gave me, uh, a documentation about the challenge and, uh, it was about you, you know, publishing a run of the mill model, any model like that does sentiment analysis or any other, uh, process and publishing it in AWS and monitoring its progress and, uh, creating a log for it in another server. Uh, I mean, they only gave me like three days or four days. So I don't think it's possible to finish that in that time. But I think they wanted to know my process and how I do my uh, the, the challenge and if I'm co communicating well enough. And, you know, just to know that I have an idea about the challenge. So I, I think it's more of they're looking for uh, the know-how or the enthusiasm or, uh, you know, some kind of, uh, how do I say it? So they're not really looking for for you to do the whole thing, but they just wanted to check out your strategy or how you think or how you solve the problem or how you well you use the time. So I think that's the main thing that they're looking for. Uh, so even if you don't finish, if you have a challenge, you, you just submit what you can. And I think that's what the uh, deciding factor is at this uh, stage, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. I hope um, others we took note for any potential assessments that might be coming our ways in the upcoming days. So yeah, thanks for sharing, Fenuel, and all the best. We hope it really goes well for you and we're here for any support you might need anytime. All right, uh, let's, yeah, let's hear from more people. Uh, Lillian, Lillian, how has it been 
for you as well. I saw that you updated on text that you have started. There is one on which you are doing the assessment for, I believe. Yeah. Lillian, can you hear? Lillian, can you hear me? Okay, I'm unable to speak. All right. Uh, share in the chat box and uh, share us the details. How is it going with the assessment you are doing? And, um, you know, what other applications are you doing currently? And, of course, uh, what are you planning to do today? Yes, so as Lillian is typing, uh, let's hear from Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Daniel Geda. Okay, I think his network is not very strong. Okay, but I'll read in the chat box. Alexander said uh, regarding the job application, and surprisingly, I have received five rejections. But I'm feeling good and continue. Of course, Alexander, keep it up. That's part of the application process, really. Keep it up and all the best. You will get this. And then we have Rodolph uh, saying that he was going through the materials for the weekly challenge. That is great. And then today he plans to continue with the exercise for the weekly challenge. Uh, regarding the application, I didn't apply any yesterday. Furthermore, I received one rejection. I plan to focus on applications on Wednesday and Thursday according to the calendar. All right. Uh, Rodolf, I don't want really... Uh, it's not like I do not want. It's like I advise that we do not just apply according to the schedule. The schedule we have, yes, is for guiding us. It's for guiding us. It's for telling us, like, you should be dedicating this specific time to this specific thing. But it doesn't limit you that if you have any free time on your day, you cannot spend it on applications. It doesn't limit you at all. It doesn't limit you at all. So let's try to be looking for some room almost each and every day. Because the more we apply, the more applications we put out there, the more we increase our conversion rates to be getting the interviews. Really, so keep it up as well. Don't limit yourself on the days to applying or limit yourself on the schedule. Find time and drop that application. Really, it will help. And also, uh, by saying that, to the job applications you are, do you are doing, can you share them in the Job Hunt channel? so that other people can also see if they are probably a fit and would like to ch take a chance on them. You know, it doesn't have just to be a few people sharing. You can take initiative and just drop that one link. You never know who it might help. You never know who even would ask you some questions or probably will find that they know someone in that specific company. You, you never know. And they might use it to refer you or to recommend you or even them to take their chance. Because here, if one of us win, it's us winning. We should be winning together, really. So let's remember to be doing that, to be putting the links on which we are applying on here in the Job Hunt channel and, of course, as well as on Tanks. Yep. Uh, let's continue for now. And then hear from... Um, Abraham Addis, and then Abel Bekele, and then Abdul Ahmed. Thank you, Pascaline, uh, and uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, yeah, yesterday, I actually, I haven't done much yesterday. Um, uh, what I only did is uh, I was not uh, comfortable on my cover letter, and I was uh, updating that. And uh, beside, the, beside to this, I also was studying a couple of things on SQL. Yeah, uh, this is uh, uh, what I have done. 
and uh, my plan uh, for today is uh, reviewing the challenge documents and uh, start uh, uh, working on uh, some uh, challenge. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, give it up as well. Are these increase the applications number that you are also doing to increase your chances for any potential progress? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, Thank you. Sure. Let's hear from Abel. Abel? Abel, can you hear us? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. All right. So, uh, the past few days have been hectic for me due to personal reasons. Uh, I, shouldn't be, I, I shouldn't do much work regarding my submissions. But in the meantime, I was looking for a job and I went and applied for a few. Uh, so, uh, I'm planning to uh, truly work on the an academic finance project from today. I believe I can do uh, an intensive model, to be honest, so that I can catch up with all of you and uh, what I can say on that. Thank you. Okay. There is some background noise. We were struggling to hear you. But to what you did yesterday, were there any applications involved? And also to what you are planning today, are there any applications involved or you will be focusing on the challenges? So my plan is to focus on the challenges, uh, to be specific. And uh, when I call it a day, I plan to apply uh, for about minimum of 10 jobs. Uh, then that's my plan for now. Okay, yeah, that is great. That is a great number. So, yeah, keep it up. Keep it up, really, and all the best into the applications. Uh, let's hear from Abdullah Nid Musa. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. Um, so, I have been working with uh, the weekly challenge. I have been reading on the data structures and algorithms, a big annotation. And that's how I've been working on in regards to applying jobs. I'll be doing that tomorrow and um, wait, uh, Thursday as well. Uh, I'm hearing like we should uh, actually apply daily. Uh, so maybe I will start doing that as well. Okay, all right. Keep it up as well, Musa. Drop those applications, really. Yeah, same feedback. Uh, there are people who we did not hear from. Lillian said that she received more than four rejections so far and also just received an email that requires a written interview, something similar to our pre assessment. They gave her around 30 questions that she should answer and they range from personal skills education and technical skills and many more okay that is great lillian keep it up uh let us know update us on the progress and of course all the best we really believe that you continue all right uh let's hear from aya uh good morning pascaline and everyone Sorry, uh, there was a power outage and I joined late. Uh, so yesterday um, I worked on the uh, TPF. Uh, I thought that the plan from the previous week was to work on this week. So yeah, I kind of modified it. Uh, and then try to submit, but there was no link for that. I only updated on Notion. Um, other than that, um, I have been working on the, the TPF that I planned on. Um, 
regarding the uh, the job application, I thought it's on schedule, but from my from what I heard earlier, we can apply at in time of the day, right? But uh, on Saturday, uh, I try to register a job that I applied for, and it says server error. Uh, so I thought it was uh, based on the, the 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 scheduling thing, right? Uh, yeah. So I after that I didn't try to apply uh, for any job. So I, I will I will I will start to apply. Uh, yeah. That that that's my update. Uh, I have also a couple of questions. Uh, the first one, the the uh, TPF. Uh, how are we going to uh, submit our progress? Is it um, a kind of like GitHub link or uh, a Word document that we're going to write what we have been working on? Or how can we uh, do the uh, reporting? Uh, the other uh, question, not a question, a request uh, for the submission of the weekly challenge, could you please uh, put the link before 3 p.m.? Because I don't have uh, internet uh, internet access after 3 p.m. Uh, UTC. So that, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I've noted that and I've also noted the TPF for others to clarify. Okay. All right, should we be letting us know? And also the uh, link submission. Okay, before 3 p.m., just wrote that one. Thank you, AI, for raising that. Uh, Okay, I'll let her know. All right. For the TPF, she's going to be announcing it uh, on Slack, like for everyone to know how to be submitting the progress or updating your progress. And then also for the link, that is very doable. The thanks team is going to be uh, putting it live before 3 p.m. UTC. All right. And then uh, with the application period, what we have on the schedule is to, is to just, it's like a time blocked where you do not have to do anything else. But imagine if that, time's if that time comes and you probably have other emergencies to attend to and you do not manage to use that time specifically for applying, does it mean that you won't be submitting any application this week? You know. That's why we want you, of course, in other days on which we do not have a blocked job application period, you can be taking some time when you are free and still drop some of the application. When you have free time, let's use it for that. Unless you do not have any other free time, you are occupied with other upscaling things or any ch other challenges, that's totally understandable. Totally understandable. But if you have any free time during any other time, that we do not have a blocked job application period, it's okay just to use it just to submit those applications. Yeah. But again, do not overwhelm yourself. Uh, do not do it like, how can I say it? Like, do not overwhelm yourself. Take your time to just be submitting one application per application. One application per application. That way it gives much more results because you gave it much more attention yeah so yeah all right uh let's hear from barak hello guys am i audible yes you are okay yeah uh i didn't progress that much on uh 
the TPF uh, plan that I have. Uh, but I will, uh, I think I will start uh, working on that starting from today. And I have applied uh, for some jobs. And as uh, most of them said, I have rejections on my email, but I saw uh, your application was reviewed uh, for one application. I, I guess that's a, a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's actually. Oh, Mubarak. Yeah. Uh, you Did didn't... we lost you or you were done sharing? You didn't hear me? No, we had you. We had you. Uh, you stopped on where you were telling us that you received one notification that one of your applications had been reviewed. Yeah, uh, but they didn't uh, reject it to me or <laughs> send me a challenge. Just they reviewed uh, my application. I mm. guess uh, the other rejection is with, uh, automated, like even they didn't so the application they just uh, send rejection letters so this one's uh, different from that that is what i'm saying okay got it it's all right uh let's keep it up let's keep going and uh yeah keep waiting for them to uh you know something might come up really keep it up as well before we close meron uh you didn't share with me the link to the application you did okay i will share you okay it's all right yeah share with me on slack then we can even have a conversation there okay okay all right so thank you everyone for joining. Uh, let's go and focus on the today's activities. And of course, if you have any other free time today, drop that one application. But also remember that tomorrow we have a blocked time for applications. So plan to really not miss that time. And let's also remember about our groups. Uh, you know, we should be very active within our groups because that's where we get to be sharing our experiences any motivations any realization any tips like anything just be having a, a random conversation about how it's going for everyone so yeah let's be active within our groups and to use the group bonding time it's not structured it's not it won't be attended by any of the staff most of the time it won't be attended by any of the staff it's just you just connecting informally and sharing anything you want to share especially in regards to this phase that we are in yeah um there is one question in the chat box uh aia if we see it that you applied at amicus can you share more information what the company is about okay. mm -hmm. oh uh that was one of the recommended jobs from Phoenix. okay so uh, yesterday afternoon i received uh, a letter saying that we have reviewed your application and since we have uh, more experienced guys uh we will we, they, they say for now it's it's kind of rejection uh okay. so for those of you guys who applied they, they will they will give you um the news soon i hope they will accept you <laughs> okay yeah. it's all right it's all right let's hear let's wait and hear from them yeah uh for others and also for you like keep really going keep applying as well yeah we work out Great, so thank you everyone for sharing. And of course, these are the kind of experiences we want to be sharing, like for everyone. 
and be sharing uh we just do not have just to share like oh you know i received this kind of rejection but also try to think of course we cannot really think for the hiring managers it's really complicated it's complicated to know what they need and what they think about you but also be trying to keep evaluating yourself and be thinking why am i receiving these why am i what am i doing wrong or is there anything i can improve probably on my on the materials i'm sharing like be thinking it through if you cannot find the answer then it's not about you it's not about you then it's about them they have probably something else they are specifically looking for and they didn't mention it anywhere within the job description and it's not your fault so yeah uh yeah big time so i think that is it i won't keep taking much of your time guys um all the best with all the work that we are going to be focusing on today and let's plan to not miss the job application period that is scheduled tomorrow and let's plan not to miss any group bonding activity that we have today and also tomorrow all right have a great day thank you for joining